everybody, Cable here from Zurb. I want to really quickly let you know about another awesome feature that came out in Foundation 6.4. This is the optional prototyping helpers spearheaded by one of our Yeti knots, Harry Manchanda. Now this is something that is opt-in. It's really for prototyping only, and it's not something that you should include in every project. But sometimes you're in a real hurry, you want to turn something around fast, you're likely to throw the code away, but you want to be able to show an idea super fast. That's exactly what these prototyping helpers are for. They embed a lot of common things into very simple helpers that you can use either in SAS or in CSS. So let's really quickly look at an example of some of the things you can do here. What I've got prepared here is a simple card. It has nothing special on it. It's using the basic card styles from Foundation. Now Foundation deliberately has a very subdued visual style because it expects you to write your own custom styles and create something on top of it. That said, for prototyping, sometimes you want it to go really fast. You want to get that to happen. So let's take a look at some of the things we can do here. We've got our card here, and we can really simply add some texture and weight to that card. Let's, uh, let's give it a shadow. So one of the prototyping have, uh, classes we have is shadow. You can see that as soon as we do that, we've got a, a shadow around the edges of this card. We can give it a little bit of a border by just adding a bordered class. We can give it a radius on the corners to round those corners a little bit. And we can give it maybe a little margin on the top so that we can actually see that. So let's actually just give it margin all around. Let's give it just margin one, a little bit around, it puts it in. These are things that normally you're going to write custom code for as you start to figure things out. But when you're just testing ideas out, you want to get something that looks close really fast. Maybe you're live coding with a designer or a stakeholder and you want to say, oh, well, what if we did this? What if we did this? This lets you move super fast. Same thing are available around the board. We have a button in there. We could put that button. Maybe we want to give it a, a total you know, make it completely rounded. So let's make it rounded. And we want everything shadows here because we we forgot about flat design. We want shadow, 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 shadow. So let's put a shadow on that. All sorts of stuff. I can only cover a little bit in this amount of time, but this is a huge set of things. If you go to the prototyping docs page, uh, let me actually, I'll pull that over here so you can take a look. There are so many things in here that you can do. You can manipulate things with rounding, shadows, all those things, arrows, separators, overflows, text positioning, all this sort of stuff to let you prototype super fast. Reminder, you don't want to use this in production. In production, you're going to want to go to a more semantic classes. You're going to want to really refine things. But that's once you've got figured out what you want to do. While you're still figuring that out, speed is crucial, and this can really help you get going. All right, so if you enjoyed that training and you want more, maybe you want to be able to ask questions directly in real time or get more breadth, learn everything that Foundation has to offer. We offer live webinar-based trainings as well. There's a link up in the corner to check it out. I'm one of the instructors, but you'll get to talk to the whole Foundation team here at Zurb who's working with Foundation, using Foundation day to day. Check it out.